this story I hear about you that you came back and you were the veterinary officer for Dr. Jerry Rollins' dogs and you killed his dogs and he sacked him <laughs> from his house. Is that what happened? I'm sorry to laugh. I mean, and, and I think I apologize to your viewers. Um, in the first place, I came back as a veterinary surgeon and I have pride, I take pride in my profession. I did vet because I have a lot of compassion. You need to have extra compassion to be a vet. You have to feel for the animal, feel their pain, for you to take the pain in treating them. And so, um, mommy and daddy, that's how I've always called them. You know. So you mean Nana Kone Dwanjiman Rollins yes, and Jerry John yeah, Rollins? Exactly. I, I would say that it's a propaganda because I know that and may that day um, dental soap continue to rest in paradise. I will say that mommy's alive and they know that if they're here, I think they will laugh at it. You see, yes, I was as their daughter and a veterinary surgeon. There was no one in a better position to take care of your parents' pets. And they had probably 20 or a little bit more dogs. 20 dogs? Yeah, because you see... All at Ridge or somewhere else? Yeah, no, at Ridge, at Ridge. Wow, in addition to the soldiers? No, you see, Daddy loves, he loves pets. And then Mommy also does. And usually if, you know, the, the, the pet, the dogs, you know, give birth. If he gave you a dog, <laughs> don't think that he would just close his eyes. You follow up to see if you are treating the animal oh, well. Wow. And so he kept them. So it wasn't like, you know, they were buying them, but they were reproducing. In and the house. E exactly so. So I was in charge of, of, of them and accept the medications that were bought. I mean, I did it with a lot of love and pride. So you, and so, you did it include feeding them or that's for the caretakers? Oh, no, that's you? for the caretakers. So you took care My of their health? My to, to make sure that they had their vaccination 